Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is a range test and review of the Radio Master R161 D16 receiver, this one here. I went to the 500 meter test and everything was good. The RSSI coming back, I think, let me just check my notes, the average was 51.6, so definitely connected at that distance. When I went on to the more trickier 585 meter mark where there's trees and the cottage in the way. It failed this test. There was no telemetry. Well, there was, but it was just, you know, so, so low. It definitely wasn't working. And the receiver connected and then just disconnected and the red LED stayed on. I then moved on to the 1000 meter mark and here it, it passed no problem. It connected, slight bit of flashing on the receiver, but it was definitely connected. And the average RSSI was 48.2. So I, I, that almost guarantees it was connected. Then at the 2000 meter mark, the RSSI average was only 16.5 and it wasn't, it was connecting and then disconnecting and then the green LED came on and the red LED came on. So I would say definitely at 2000 meters, it, it would, you would not have been able to fly your aeroplane. But then in the manual, Radio Master only claim it to go over a kilometer and it's definitely going to a kilometer. Now let's do the penetration test for the Radio Master R161 D16 receiver. We're looking for RSSI critical and telemetry lost information. Okay, RSSI low, oh, the sun is bright, uh, 45 meters exactly was the first RSSI low warning. RSSI low. Okay. RSSI critical. RSSI critical at exactly 60 meters. Okay. RSSI critical. Okay. RSSI critical. <gasps> telemetry lost. Okay, telemetry lost at 90.7 meters. That was telemetry lost at 90.7 meters. Now we're going to do the penetration test for the R161 Radio Master receiver, the D16 one, where we're looking for the LED going out for foul safing. Oh, there's my lizard friends. They come into my house. We've got a slight bit of flashing there, but nothing drastic. We've got a green LED on this one. A little bit of flashing there, but I would say that it's definitely still connected. Okay, flashing's getting a bit Yeah, a little bit more, but we're looking for full for ah, here we go. Now we've got, we've got a lot of foul safing, um, but I must wait till it goes off. So we are, okay, a little bit more. I think we will foul safe completely. It's definitely foul safing there. That's at 77.3 meters. There we go, it's off and then it's back on again. Let me carry on going until it goes off completely. Okay, there we go, red LED on. So continuous fail safe at 82.9. I quite like the LEDs where there's a green one and a red one. Now let's take a look at the data where you can compare it to the other receivers I've tested. Now let's move on to the review part of this video. Now the ReadyMaster R161 receiver is a, a D16 protocol receiver. It's got 16 channels. It has telemetry. It's, I'm just gonna check my notes. Its size is 26 millimeters by 21 millimeters by 8.5 millimeters. So it's actually relatively small. It comes with a, um, a plug that you can plug into you and put some header pins on onto your flight controller. 
Its input range of voltage is 4.5 to 6 volts. Its uh, range is over a kilometer. That's what's said in the manual. It was very easy to bind. There was no problems binding it to my radio. And its manual is written really well. It's a very good manual that comes with it uh, to help you set this up. The weight of the receiver is just seven grams. As I've already mentioned, this is a D16 receiver. Now it can work with version one or version two of the firmware and also in the EU or the FCC versions. And you can download the different firmwares from the Radio Master website. I will leave a link in the description below so you can change it to whichever part of the world you live in and which one you're allowed to use. It also supports S port and F port. It also has the ability to set up fail safe. Now, the first fail safe you, you can set up is not set, which is obviously not a very good idea, but that's one option. The second option is hold. Now, with your fixed wings, that means you would, whatever position your servos were in or your throttle was, it would put it, put, keep that position until either the receiver were connected again or it would just go into the ground, which again is not a good idea. You can then have no pulses, which is obviously really compulsory for your quadcopters. You can then say set up the receiver. Now this, um, what you do is you would get your gimbals and set up say a little bit of uh, up elevator and then the throttle right back. You just quickly with the receiver bound, you touch the receiver button quickly, less than a second, and it will set that version of the fail safe up. In, 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 in other words, wherever the position of the sticks you had. And then the final way you can set up fail safe is by putting in the values. So you can actually go there and, and set in the individual stick values that you want to set up. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. And please consider becoming a patron of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye.